The Alabama hometown of author Harper Lee is abuzz with the upcoming release of Go Set a Watchman, the sequel to the 1960 blockbuster To Kill a Mockingbird. Nowhere is that buzz louder than in the old Curiosities and Bookshop. At the moment, we're about over 7,000 copies uh, from all locations, and uh, that's a huge number for us. Monroeville served as the model for Lee's famous novel, as well as the Academy Award-winning motion picture of courageous lawyer Atticus Finch and the plucky young scout and the battle against racial prejudice. Bookstore owner Spencer Madri has been getting ready, buying a building across the street to handle demand. First thing in the morning, 12 a.m., um, Monday night, you know, Tuesday morning, we're going to open up for um, release event. Uh, we'll be open 12 to 2 and probably couple more hours after that, most likely, because I know how people like to linger after a party. Despite controversy over whether the 89-year-old Lee, who's in declining health, really wanted the release of the book, Monroeville businesses are hoping it will spark renewed tourism and an appreciation of history. For me and my generation, this is the To Kill a Mockingbird of our generation. So this is historic for us, and this will create a new wave of tourism for our town, and we're very excited about what it could do for our economic impact. People have already signed up to read Go Set a Watchman in the old courtroom that was the dramatic focus of the novel and film. Back at the bookshop, there will even be an Atticus Finch impersonator. As fans get ready to find out what happened to Scout, Atticus, and the other characters from the cherished classic. Tony Winton, Associated Press.